So in today's video, I want to talk to you about marriage. I want to talk to you about what marriage means to me, what I've learned from it. And I'm sure that everybody's experience is a little bit unique, but you might enjoy hearing from my perspective and some of you may either learn from that or resonate with it or I'd love to hear what your thoughts are as I share my experiences. Let's get into this to marriage and what it means to me, what I've learned about it or from it. So my husband and I met back in 2015, February 2015. And pretty much right when we met, it was almost the love at first sight. Now, we got married two years later in February of 2017, and we've been married since. So I wish that I could say that it's been perfect and nothing but bliss and everything this whole time, but I really can't. And perhaps I don't wish that I could say that to you because I really don't regret the valuable lessons that I have learned along this journey with my husband. Now, all I ever wanted since I was a little girl was to get married, to be a wife, to be a mother. And that's all I ever wanted. And it's just, it's like to finally be in a position where my daughter had met my now husband and they got along and him and I were in love and decided to get married. It's like that, that was great. And it, it, fit, it fit this kind of fantasy ideal that I had in my mind. But upon actually getting married and really learning what it's like and what it takes, I realized I didn't know anything about marriage at all. <laughs> I'm not really sure fully anymore what it was exactly that I thought it was when I signed up for it, right? And that's not to say that it's like it was a harsh awareness of reality in a bad way. It just means that what we hear, these messages, these fairy tales that are fed to us in society, they, they do so much harm. And then you have porn and the porn industry and... and other things that contribute to these unrealistic expectations of gender and gender roles and relationships and intimacy and all of these things. So, you know, f flash forward and I began to learn what it actually takes to, to budget with someone, to talk about money and to talk about matters of intimacy and to talk about whether or not to have children and to talk about how you're going to raise your children and to to possibly be very different from your partner and have to learn to see the world through someone else's eyes and to force yourself to learn to humble yourself, to compromise, to be vulnerable even when you don't want to be, um, sacrifice and you learn so much when you become married to someone and you, you will find that there may be many moments in which you have a choice, a choice to go one way or the other, to say, I'm done here. I don't want to deal with this. Like, I don't like, you know, X, Y, Z. And so you leave or you say, all right, you know, I don't like this. This doesn't feel good. This is difficult. This will take a lot of work, but let's do it. And so marriage has really shown me how when you can toe the line like that and you can get someone else or you have the privilege or the honor of having someone else also toe the line like that. And then the two of you together are just like, no matter what, we do this, and I love you, and we'll figure it out. And it's like, so especially for any of you out there who are like me, who have experienced repeated incidents of rejection, of abandonment, of trauma, of abuse, of neglect, um, you name it. It's like to reach a point in your life where you have someone who's there for you in that way and you can trust that and they can trust that with you 
It's like I see now, after so many years, what marriage actually is. It wasn't what I thought it, it was, you know? I, As I said, I, I can't fully really even remember at this point whatever fantasy I had, but, you know, it's everything that we're raised to think, that it's supposed to just be this very magical fairy tale like thing and that you know your per your partner should be this some sort of ideal and you should be this some sort of ideal and if it's anything other than that then it's it's not good and it's not worth putting an effort for and you know it's just like that it's that that ideal is so surface level it's so surface level you could Anybody can go out and find someone to have a good time with. Anybody can go out to find a friend who, you know, is like hobbies and interests are the same as yours. Anybody can go out and find somebody to spend the night with, you know. It's like, it's not, it's not actually that hard to go meet all those things. So, is that what you want and want to expect from your lifelong partner, you know? Pleasure, joy, good times surface easy fun like that's abundant and everywhere and easy and cheap to find but to have another human being willingly consciously be like no matter what i got you like no matter what we're doing this no matter what i'm not leaving you no matter what i don't care how much we get pissed off at each other like we're in this we're doing this and then you also were that way with this person. It's like, I've never had that before. Sure, I have family. I have immediate family members. And there's people that I rely on that I trust, that I love. But marriage has just really taught me the value of foundation building, of, of empire building, of, of taking something and making it so much more and being willing to do anything for it and to protect it and to nourish it and honor it and cherish it and respect it. I realize now how little appreciation and true respect I had because I had never had anything stable as far as relationships go and how people show up. You know, no, no, nobody has ever had my back like that. And so there's something beautiful that occurs when you create this type of relationship. And it's, it's beautiful. And the amount of personal growth and development that occurs is phenomenal because of how many times you're forced to look in the mirror, how many times you wanna blame your spouse for this or that. You wanna blame your spouse for what is wrong or not perfect in your world and and how many times when you do that it ends up creating this mirroring effect where you have to look so deeply at yourself and realize like it's not your partner you know man that's me again and when you're willing to humble yourself again and again and again like that and and you're you're willing to be vulnerable in these ways it's like the opportunity for self development and growth is unlike any other challenge I've ever had. And marriage has been the hardest thing I've ever done. And I was a single mother working full-time, going to school full-time while I got my bachelor's degree. So I know a thing or two about working hard. But my marriage, it is what I am most proud of. You know, aside from, of course, my beautiful children. And then... You know, it would be my education and, and so on. So, I mean, but other, I mean, outside of my kids, the thing that I'm most proud of is working through this marriage and working through the ups and the downs and being willing to own my own <laughs> snickerdoodles and to also be brave enough to call, you know, call things out when, when there's wider, bigger snickerdoodles, right? <laughs> And it's just like this process, and it is so not easy. It is so not always bliss, but it is so, so beautiful, and so, so rewarding, and so, so comforting. And how many tender moments 
like even last night, just sitting together on the couch and having someone to snuggle with, to watch a movie with, to laugh with, to play with, to be comfortable with. It is a blessing and I'm so grateful for it. And that's another thing that marriage has taught me is to have a true appreciation for the honor and the privilege and the blessing to have all of the many blessings that come from being married and companionship and partnership. And that's why I feel like it is a divinely inspired concept to have a union to have union and have a partner someone to build with to grow with to share creative energy with to share vision with you know to manifest with that it's it's outstanding and i would not want to trade that ever again for fun flighty entertainment you know Friday nights and whatever. So it's important when dating, when looking at potential marriage partners, when selecting a marriage partner, I think it's important to, to really look at, look for true value, true substance. And it doesn't mean it has to be perfect, but Look for something that has a good foundation with which to even begin to grow upon. As an artist, as a painter, I wouldn't pick a canvas. If I was going to start a new painting, I wouldn't pick a canvas that was covered in all kinds of stuff and would have to be cleaned and then scraped and then repined. I wouldn't make that selection if I had a selection that was ready to go, ready to build upon. So... You know, ladies, if you're dating a guy, think about if he was a father to your children. Is that the kind of man you would want to be a father to your children? Is he a good man? Is he an honorable man? Is he a respectful man? Is he a patient man? Is he a kind man? Is he a hardworking man? Is he a moral man? Is he a loyal man? Is he a passionate man? Is he an intelligent man? Because even if you are not planning to have children, you could have a child. And you want to make sure that this is someone you want to grow with, you want to build with, and that there's potential. So marriage has taught me the value of who we surround ourselves with, who we co-create with, who we share our secrets to, who we confide in, who we ask or seek advice from, who we commingle our energies with, who we have raised our children with us. These are really important, you know, things to look at and Marriage has just taught me the value of so much. So I'm very grateful to my husband for his never ending patience with me and for his willingness to learn and grow with me, for his willingness to survive this doggy dog world. <laughs> and to share love because the answer to all the problems in the world is love. I wish love for all of you and whether you are single or you're, and you're dating or, and or you're dating and you're, or you're partnered, you're married and or you're divorced, like wherever you're at in your relationship status, this video is not intended to, to be a discouragement or, or offensive in any way. It's intended to be an encouragement to share why I believe marriage is, is real, why I believe it's valuable, why I believe that it's not dead, as many in the world want to say that it is, 
that, that love is the answer and that through love and in particular through divine love and union and marriage and commitment and dedication and loyalty to that marriage that it's worth every moment of tears or blood, sweat and toil and it's worth every sacrifice and every investment and if it's something that you have the opportunity to do or do again I wish that for you, as I wish it for everyone, because it's a beautiful thing. And it's worth waiting for, it's worth working for, it's worth planning for, and it's worth never letting go for. All right, I love you all. I would love to hear your comments down below. And please do think about subscribing. Check out me, uh, my pages over on IG, all that information down below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and thank you for your time and your energy here today. Much love. I'll catch you next time. Ciao.